Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Cortex Chicane Air short riding shoes. $109.99 for the Chicane Air short riding shoes. Please understand we don't update videos for pricing changes, only the product itself has been completely redesigned. That is a hell of an affordable retail, okay? It's a nice quality shoe. I was really shocked when I looked at the retail. When I looked at all these new products from Cortec, I didn't look at the product sheets first. I looked at the products and I tried to mentally benchmark where I thought they would have retails. And this one came in even lower than I expected. Really impressed with the quality here. Let's talk sizing. I wear a size 12 US in most common shoes out there. I would say my feet lean to the wide side. These fit me well in a 12, right? I would say the width is very average. In my case, having wider feet, I'm gonna require just a little bit of break in, but having worn it in the office, moving around in a little bit, I think these are gonna break in and be just right for me. These should fit most riders well, with the exception being people that no, you have overly wide feet and you struggle buying shoes that fit you properly due to that width. Features and benefits. This is just a short riding shoe, okay? We don't have the same level of protection here you're going to get with a full-on race boot. Still, there is protection built into it. Reinforcement here in the toe box, reinforcement in the heel. There are armor pucks that are stitched in behind here for the ankle for impact and abrasion on both sides, in and out. And you also have this TPR external detail that's going to be beneficial there. This is a microfiber upper, okay? It's not a leather material. It's a leather-like material. And that's really what boots are made out of. A lot of people think, yeah, my boots are leather. No, they're probably not. They're almost every single time this microfiber material. It simply works better for boots. It wears better. Very tear and abrasion resistant, right? Holds up very well. And all the flexing and such from walking, it just does a better job than standard leather does. We have an overlay, and I'm showing you the brake side boot now, but in a shifter area to help manage wear on the boot. Outside, it kind of almost looks like a toe slider, but it's not, okay? It's going to help manage abrasion in that area. Perforated upper that is going to promote airflow. Padded and fully ventilated tongue that flows air freely. So this shoe is going to wear very lightweight, super light and tons of airflow. Entry and exit, we have a lace-up design here with a Velcro adjuster here at the top. And you know, you're kind of able to get those laces tucked up in there a bit. I'm not going to really focus on that now and tidy that all up nicely. There are reflectives on the shoe for nighttime visibility, right? It's on the outside of the ankle. When I looked at this shoe, okay, it screamed Alpine Star styling to me. It's a little more subtle, a little more subdued the, the way they've laid the colors and such out. But this looks so similar to some of the Alpine Star's riding shoes. I guess at the end of the day, you know, it's hard to really reinvent the wheel. With that said, this is a compliment to these shoes. They look really nice. The quality looks fantastic. Like you're getting a lot for your money at this 109 price point. I love all the new Cortec products for the summer of 2020. I think the quality's great, the styling's great, the price points are just fantastic. They did a great job. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to help you all choose the right gear.